Sam's roasting, it's so hot. It's, what time is it bro? 4.30. 4.40. Stankin' hot day. We caught a trout and ate it. It was bloody delicious. Oh, Wick has, Wick has caught our dinner. You gonna eat him? Yeah, boy. Looks tasty to me. Nice little jack. Average to fair condition, but lovely. Bloody hell, oi! Where are you off to? This guy just almost went for a swim then. Hey, what's going on? Then I lost a spinner. Then I lost another spinner. Now we've come hunting. Plenty of deer on here. There's mud on the uh, ferns, so... Open as a stag up here, but we haven't heard any roars yet. It's pretty quiet. We had a few going this morning. Mr. Cracker missed one with four on top. Sorry, I wasn't there on that trip, so I didn't get the video. Yeah, hopefully they'll start roaring tonight. Wacker will get that massive 18 pointer. That's living up just up here somewhere. seems to be mud everywhere and he's not roaring back at us we've let out a couple of roars so we're just gonna go go for a walk somewhere else because there's no action here although we keep smelling stags so there is a stag here somewhere he's, he's just not gonna roar back so fuck him Daryl Sunset. We just heard a long low moan from over here. We haven't replied yet, we're just waiting to see if he'll go again because we don't actually know where he is. Just know he's that way somewhere. Wind's blowing across, but that might change after dark. Yeah. We're running out of daylight, so we're just going to boost it towards him. And hope we can get there when we've still got some light to shoot him. Well, we've got about an hour left of daylight. He sounds like he's a maybe a kilometre away. And hard to, it's really hard to tell how far away they are. But he's let out a couple of moans. If it's even a stag, could be another hunter. Just don't know. We're going to just boost it towards him. Let's see if we can just go straight in. Have a look at him. Just went twice more. 
Oh, bugger, we're just gonna boost it over to where he is. He's sounded closer, so he's moving this way. So we're just gonna peel it over to where he is. And then, um, see what happens. Well, that was the end of that. He um, winded us and that was it, gone. So close. He's only about 50 meters away through a bunch of windfall. So close. Pretty exciting stuff, didn't even get a look at him. What's up on the hill there, Wicker? Well, Sounds like there's a stag pretty well cranked up, but I don't know if he's in the gully or up there or up there. I know there's a lot of gorse, so we've got to make the decision if we want to go down or just straight up, but he's pretty well worked, so I'd be happy to chase him. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty exciting to wake up to, to a roaring stag. We've got about half an hour till the sunrise. We're back at the truck and there's a stag roaring just away, just across the way, so. We've pushed up into the forest, we've come across this wallow. He stopped roaring before we even got up here. Just a couple of moments when it was dark, about an hour before dawn. He's shut up now, but there's some pretty good rubbings here. He's obviously a mature stag. We thought if we pushed in, found his wallow, let out a moan, he'd come in, but he hasn't. That wind's changed. It's possible he's winded us. Or he was pointing when we got here. So there was a hind or a deer very close when we got to the wallow, but we never saw it, never heard it. Now it's getting light in the forest. I think we're going to go over to the next terrace. Fuck, we're lost. We come up this bluff and then we didn't mind when we come up and now we can't find how to get back down it. At the top of the bluff walking along, steadily getting light. We kind of want to push over to the next terrace. But we can't get back down this stupid bluff that we've come up. Shit. Go on. Trusting dog. Good girl, Louis. Good girl. Oh, he's found it for us. Oh, what a legend. <sighs> right, we've got another one going. Just up on his next terrace. He's just above us. Not far away. Hopefully the wind doesn't screw us this time.
There's three stags making noise now. The other two are quite a way away. This one's been real cagey. Just letting out the occasional moan. We've got to be like a hundred, couple hundred metres away from them now. He's been real quiet. We've been trying to zigzag in and roar from over there, then over there, then over there. He's not fired up at all. See its head, but we figure we do a bit of ground evaluation. Always just come off heat, and she is so horny, so horny. Great representative trophy. <laughs> Please. Oh well. Pity the old boy shut up. Good little ringer though. This is actually the satellite stag. It's the old fella up the hill, shut up. And then this one started up. 7mm Remington Ultra Magnum. It's such a cat in my ears, are still ringing. Damn it, I didn't bring any ear plugs. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the deer within a 20 km radius stopped roaring instantly. made the same mistake, came up a bluff <laughs> and didn't mark it again for the second time. Now I've got to try find the, the <coughs> way back down. I've got some pink marker tape in my bag too, but we're just so excited because he was roaring. We were just whoo, heaps of bluffs in this area. Big ridges and stuff and not a lot of place to get down the bluffs. It's quite steep. Just realised that's the first tag I've shot in about six years. We've aimed off so we've gone quite a bit left of where we thought we'd come up so that we find it easier. Jesus. 
found my meadow fresh roaring horn. <laughs> this is where we come up the bluff. Lightly. 
left. Wind's bloody all over the place, this way, that way. Across the hill, up the hill, down the hill. He hasn't roared in about 10 minutes. Hopefully he's just trying to find us, and when he can't find us, he'll let out another one. Fuck, it's dark. Wow. Miss he dead, all right? Too dark to film, sorry. It was just it's just black, can't see anything on the camera, but he came right in about 20 meters away. Charlie aimed right for his head because that's all we could see. Pulled the trigger and pulled the shot, went over the top, deer ran away. Uh, poor bags. Yeah, it's almost completely dark now, so we better get a move on back to camp. Bugger. Jeebus, uh, there's a lot of bugs. Right, what are the rules, Charlie? So uh, I kind of half forgot. You kind of half forgot. I'm just going to oh. send it, so whatever. No, 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 we won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just tell us. Um, it's just fair. Do we another I can't, I, right, yeah, fill over here. I remember um, as soon as I, someone tells me what to do, I'll remember it because oh, last Does time, anyone else know the rules? Last time no, I played no, it wasn't around that long ago. Ah, so we're, having, we're playing cards but we don't actually know the rules. So I can remember what, what are good cards and bad cards. Ooh. I've got amazing cards. No, but no, I've got, got one good one. Card. Kings and arseholes. Oh yeah, i got two, three. Oh, my God. Two. Right, what's going on here, lads? Well, we're going to do Davis' rock for Who's on the gun tomorrow? Ah. Right. First Ready? out of three or first off? Just as soon as someone wins, as soon yeah. as there's not a man out. Alright, go. Paper, scissors, rock. Ah. Oh, you. Paper, scissors, rock. Ah. Oh, again! Right. <laughs> wraps of electrical tape around the suppressor, usually three or four different ones, so that we can retape the end of the barrel after every shot to stop sticks and crap getting in there. Sweet patience. If it's a really still day, overcast, quite foggy in the valley floors. Really still. They should just be bellowing hard out, but they're bloody not. 3rd of April. Oh, half an hour later, nothing's roared. We didn't want to see the terrace up, so we've been sitting down, but I think we're just going to move a couple hundred metres, let out another roar. Maybe if we get closer to his territory, he'll start up.
then I just got stung again in the same leg I got stung on the other day. Just starting to stop hurting a little bit today. It's still quite swollen. I just got bloody stung again on the same leg. Little bastard was in my sock. Oh, I hate wasps. Man, there's so many wasps around the summer because it's been such a dry summer. Did you guys hear that fucking crash? The whole forest is just humming. Something crashed in the bush over there. Bloody wind's blowing that direction. It's probably a deer running off. Any second now, they're going to fire up. Get up, boy. Come on, get up. You can do it. You can do it. Get up. Come on, get up. Get up, boy. Come on, get up, boy. Get up there. Give her a hand, Tom. Push, push your hand. It's also possible that some other hunters have been in here and sent it up the area. area. That's what split the stags off. Just, just don't know. I can't work it out why they roar some days and other days they don't. Sometimes they go at night, sometimes they go in the day, sometimes they go all day, sometimes they don't. I think the more animals there are in the area, the better they roar. Boys, nice. Well done, Hickey. Can I keep them? Eat them for lunch? Should we? Yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah, all right. All right, lunch time. Good, because we didn't bring much food. Favorite part of the trip, lads? Um. Catching the fish, or catching the trout, or missing the big old stag. Yeah, that was my least favourite part. Oh, um, I thought getting stung by a wasp would have been your least favourite. Yeah. Nah, what what happened there when you got stung? Oh, it just stung me on the knee and I jumped it down. I dropped the gun and jumped down the hill. <laughs> get out of the swamp. What do the rest of you fellas do? Uh, I ran and uh, as I was running, one nicked me with a stinger. And I did pick it out, and I think Dom uh, ran back. Yeah, and then uh, my my first ones we uh, just got on the bush. And I think I stood on the 
a swarm of three of them came and got me. <laughs> he almost got me, pushed the boat out and almost fell in. Duck soy. Good wick has got uh, got some water. Did you bring us? 
Oh, some beautiful uh, North Island rump steak. Plenty of fat, just juicy and tender. But um, yeah, something might have happened to that. What, what happened to that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oi likes a bit of North Island rump fatty tender steak too, don't you, you mongrel? She bloody almost did. She pinched it. Luckily, I seen her run off around the corner and she ate a corner off it. And we managed to salvage the rest of it. But we got some corn, some crayfish legs, steak and onions, lettuce, mean feed. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's cold. We've both got frozen hands. It's definitely the coldest morning we've had so far. Be careful, Oi. Bloody hell, we've come up a ridge, but it's got too steep and we're bluffed out, so... Gotta go all the way back down. And go find another terrace. No roars yet. set of ridges because nothing's going on here. Fuck, we just climbed all the way up on the stairs too. Back down the hill. Fuck, <clears throat> yeah. oh, I bought us on the wrong beach. The boat's still, boat's still around the next corner, bloody hell. Well, that was a bad navigation fail. I was a good 100 meters off the boat. Bloody hell. <laughs> I was thinking it might have been the wrong ridge. And it was. I was sniffing how I knew we were coming down the wrong way if you didn't say anything. And this looks steep right there. Oi, come here, you mongrel. Bloody hell, I should have just gone after you bro. Right, now I'm going to go down to another ridge line, see if there's a deer on there. There's not many bloody deer up here. Which 
just gonna keep pushing up the ridge and until we can smell a stag. There's footprints here, but we haven't smelled anything yet. Just found an old dried up wallow. Sounds like a miss. Oh no, you might have hit him. Where'd you, where'd you aim for? Straight through there. I'm pretty sure I can see him down there. Smoked him. Hopefully I got the shot on film. It was really hard to see through the trees. Birthday stag boy, <laughs> yeah boy. Birthday stag was like fuck. It's Wicker's birthday today. <laughs> oh bugger. Oh bugger. He's old, he's an old stag. That was just a case of shoot first and ask questions later because we saw him and we saw antlers. We went, oh yeah, antlers. Shoot them. Character stick. Oh yeah, stinks. I'm going to take his back stakes anyway to make jerky. Beautiful. Good hunk of meat. It's really interesting. He hasn't been wallowing. He's a reasonably old stag. And he isn't pizzled up at all. His neck's not really swollen, so it must just be a late raw this year. Which is awesome, because that means it's only just starting. He's a little bit stinky on his pizzle, but it's not sticky at all. It's, I'd probably still eat those nuts. Just going to give a give a props out to this HK Micro Owl Thermal. Without this, we never would have seen that stag. Boy was winding, and then we heard a, a scuff of leaves, and we just popped over the ridge and thermaled the gully and boom there he was right there we could see a hind these things should be legal on dock land because it was really easy to identify the animal could see it was a stag plain as day i forgot to take a bloody photo with it you can actually take photos of these things plain as day you could see it was a stag which way he was facing and then i just gave it to wecker and said yeah look through that and wecker looked through this and then put a scope on it and uh, still couldn't quite see it through the scope look through the thermal again and then moved left a couple of feet boom there it is so i just zoomed in focused the big camera um, on the deer and work a let strip so, bloody ridiculous these things aren't legal gonna keep cruising along this ridge line and there uh, we just heard a roar before way over there <whistles> so I'll just keep cruising and uh, maybe they'll fire up I've just seen him 
keeps it mud on those ferns and on the tree but um, we've obviously shot that one and it's just got no bizzle, no, it hasn't been washing or bathing so let's hope we can get the big one. Yeah true eh, that one wasn't muddy at all. and go back to civilization. Meant to be going to Kaikoura to hunt with Sam Harrison but I think the forecast has changed. It's going to be pissing down so I better get out, ring him up and say don't drive to Kaikoura. What do you reckon? What should we do? Yep, that's a heavy dew and nothing's going so I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also pretty hungry. Lunchtime. I think now we've got to walk a couple of k's all the way back to the stinking boat. Not the massive 18 pointer we're hoping to get today. Still a bit of success there, some meat for the freezer and a head for the wall. Beautiful, beautiful open forest. our hunting done for the day. It's rain set in for a couple of days. <laughs> 